everybody. This is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me in this new year as we navigate through the book of Proverbs together. Today our devotional is still in chapter 1. We're going to look at verses 20 through 21 first and then jump down to 24 through 26. Here's what it says. Wisdom cries aloud in the street. In the market she raises her voice. At the head of the noisy street she cries out. And at the entrance of the city gates she speaks, because I have called and you refused to listen. I have stretched out my hand and no one has heeded because you have ignored my counsel and would have some of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock you when terror strikes you. You know, I can't read these words today without thinking about the indictment they are on the state of our country. You know, in this section, Solomon uh, personifies wisdom. He imagines Lady Wisdom screaming at the top of her lungs in the streets, trying to get the attention of businesses and education and media and political leaders, but they choose to ignore her. Yet in an act of goodwill, she attempts to, again, stretch out her hands in willingness to help, but their popular opinion slaps her in the face. And yet when they finally see the result of their folly, she does not come to the rescue because she can't. You see, she's wisdom. Therefore, she laughs at our misfortune. She mocks at our hysteria. She knows, and we know, far too late that the present situation was the making of our own doing. Do you wonder if God is looking down on the state of our world right now having some of these same thoughts? I do. And Solomon illustrates so beautifully that we can't have it both ways. We cannot have our ideology and have wisdom's result. We, we can't. You have to be reproved by wisdom if you want wisdom's results. This means you have to know her and you have to listen to her and you have to heed her, as Solomon declares here. You have to heed it. So today, heed God's wisdom in a world full of noise in the streets and on media. You have to filter through it, don't you? Deafen your ears to perpetuated fear. Silence the inconsistency of, of propaganda. Filter through the spin and the virtue signaling. And then turn to the unchanging word of God. Listen to God's wisdom and heed its instructions. It's the only way through God's indictment of our foolishness in this time. I love you, brothers. Have a happy new year. I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.